a great investment for homeowners with large yards is a riding lawn mower. Hi, I'm Mike Kraft. A well-maintained riding mower not only starts easier and cuts better, it lasts longer too. Follow these steps to help keep your riding lawn mower in top working condition. Riding mowers save time and effort, and if taken care of properly, will give you season after season of clean cut grass. So follow these steps to prepare your riding mower for winter storage. Some tools and materials you might need are a drop cloth, some work gloves, a wrench to remove the battery, socket wrench to change the blades and spark plugs, and a cleaning brush and putty knife. You should also have shop rags, an oil container, some fresh oil, an oil filter wrench, fuel stabilizer, and some fresh gas and a gas can. Some spray lubricant and a tarp. Buy the appropriate blades, belts, oil filter, fuel filter, air filter, and spark plugs for your mower. Now before performing any maintenance on your riding mower, read the manufacturer's instructions carefully. If you're uncomfortable working on your mower, call a professional for help. The first thing to do is let the mower run for about a minute to warm it up. It'll be easier to change the oil while it's warm. Any lawn mower maintenance should be performed in a well-ventilated area. If you're working in a garage, open the door for maximum air circulation and cover the work area with a drop cloth. Brush off any loose clippings, dust, and debris. But be careful, the engine will still be hot. Then disconnect the battery. Always remove the black or negative cable first. Then remove the red or positive cable. Every mower is different, so follow the manufacturer's instructions to remove the mower deck and blades. The blades should be sharpened once a year. Take them to a professional for sharpening. Or if you want to do this step yourself, purchase a blade sharpener and balancer at Lowe's. Now, if they're a few years old and they have deep gouges or dings, they should probably be replaced. Stop by Lowe's with a make, model, and serial number for your mower. We carry blades to fit almost any lawn mower. With the blades off, use a brush and putty knife to clean under the deck. Most manufacturers don't recommend using a hose because the water will rust the mower. And never use a shop vac near gasoline. The belts and belt covers will need to be cleaned too. And if the belts are worn or cracked, Now's a good chance to replace them. Once everything has been cleaned, install the blades. Checking your oil throughout mowing season is a good habit, but you should definitely change it every fall. The oil lubricates, cools, and cleans the engine during operation. If you're operating in extreme temperatures or dusty conditions, the oil should be changed more often than once a season. Start by opening the oil fill cap and open the cap on the drain valve. Slide the manufacturer's drain tube onto the valve. Push in the valve and turn it slightly counterclockwise. Now that the valve is unlocked, pull it to drain the oil into the container. Once the oil has drained, close the valve and recap the port. Then remove the oil filter with an oil filter wrench and add a new one. Add the manufacturer's recommended oil. Wipe up any excess oil with a shop rag. Never pour oil down the drain. Instead, contact your local recycling center for oil disposal instructions. Reattach the mower deck. The gas in your mower will need to be treated if your tractor is sitting over winter. Put fuel stabilizer in a gas can and fill it with fresh gas. Then fill the tank on your mower. Now, despite what you think, a full tank is less of a fire hazard than an empty one. And you should change your fuel filter according to the manufacturer's instructions. While the hood is up, lubricate any small moving parts with the manufacturer's recommended lubricant. And be careful to not get any oil or grease on any nylon bearings. The grease may attract dust that will damage the bearings. And speaking of dust, your air filter will need to be changed too. If it's paper, you'll have to replace it with a new filter. Now some air filters have a pre-cleaner, which should be replaced every season as well. Check the manufacturer's instructions. Some pre-filters require a light coating of engine oil to help filter out dust and debris. Also replace the spark plugs using a socket wrench. This will ensure easy starting. Check the tire pressure and adjust according to the owner's manual. Before stowing your mower, reconnect the battery starting with a positive cable, then the negative cable. Let the tractor run for about a minute so the fresh oil can lubricate any internal parts. Then disconnect the battery again. Store your mower where it won't be exposed to any heat sources or gas appliances and cover it with a tarp. When mowing season starts again, follow these steps to prepare your mower. Wipe off any excess lubricant and check if all moving parts are working properly. Also check for any debris, 
including any that may have been left by small animals over the winter. Finally, reconnect the battery. During the summer season, it's a good practice to frequently check the oil level, air filter, tire pressure, and any moving parts. Now all you need is a little sunscreen and you're good to go. Taking care of your mower is not the only thing you can do for a better looking lawn. Watch our other outdoor how-to videos at lowes.com slash videos.